Apple has concluded its peak performance spring event on March 8, 2022. During the event, Apple launched four new devices, including the iPhone SE 5G with Apple's A15 Bionic processor, the new iPad Air with Apple's M1 chipset, the Mac Studio and the Studio Display. Though they started with some updates on Apple TV Plus with some original content, but I'm not including these in this particular video. Now, Apple began the product launch by announcing the new color variant for the existing iPhone 13 and 13 Pro. People can pre-order 13 in green and iPhone 13 Pro in alpine green. Starting Friday and will be available on March 18. Apple iPhone SE 2022 has arrived with an Apple A15 Bionic chipset that powered the iPhone 13 series as well. The design for iPhone SE 2022 hasn't changed much, so you get a reprised iPhone SE 2022, which is the reprised iPhone 8, but comes in three colors. There's a 4.7 inch Retina IPS LCD panel on top with 750 across 1334 pixels resolution and with heavy bezels. You do get what Apple stated as the toughest glass on a smartphone, aka ceramic shield on both front and the back for improved durability, just like the iPhone 13. The device is rated with IP67 water and dust resistance. There is no face ID, but you get the iconic home button clad Touch ID fingerprint scanner for authentication. As usual, Apple is yet to rate the battery capacity, although there is an 18 watt fast charging tech on board. This iPhone SE 2022 supports 5G as well, though not microwave, which goes without saying because most of the specs it has been adopted from the current iPhone 13 series. There is a 12 megapixel snapper at the back with features like deep fusion sensor shift image stabilization, smart HDR4 and more. iPhone SE 2022 uses computational photography to a great extent. The front cam uses a 7 megapixel module with f2.2 and HDR. The iPhone SE will arrive on pre-order on Friday, March 11 at $429, which is 43,900 in India for its 64 gig variant, which is way higher than what it was earlier speculated. The device will begin shipping on March 18 across 30 countries, including US, the UK, Japan, India, Germany, France, China, Canada, Australia, among others. It is the most powerful chipset under any price segment out there. It comes with three storage variants, that is 64, 128 and 256 gigs. Other specifications read as Bluetooth version 5, with LE and A2DP, dual band Wi-Fi 6, NFC, USB 2.0 lightning port, a stereo speaker setup and more. Now iPhone 11 costs about 50,000 in India for the same 64 gig variant. So you might prefer the iPhone 11 than the SE. But other than the external design and a dual camera system, it only has a A13 Bionic, which may not have all the features you find in the A15 Bionic. iPad Air is now powered by the M1 chip with 60% performance increase over the previous generation. It sports a 12 megapixel ultra wide front camera with support for center stage on FaceTime. This iPad Air supports 5G connectivity. Apple says that the new device will be compatible with the smart keyboard and Apple Pencil 2nd gen.
iPad users will be able to use the new iPad OS 15 features as well. The starting price is $599 and in India, it will start at $54,900 for the Wi-Fi only version, which is the same price as that of the older iPad Air. The Wi-Fi Plus cellular models will start at Rs. 68,900. It comes with 64 gigs and 256 gigs configuration, but there is no 128 in between. The order begins from 11th March and will be available from 18th March. Apple had introduced M1, M1 Pro and M1 Max. Now, Apple is adding one last chip to the Apple family, the M1 Ultra. Apple has combined two M1 Max chips with a new technology called Ultra Fusion. The computer will read these two chips as one single chip. This architecture provides 2.5 terabytes per second of inter-processor bandwidth with a memory bandwidth of 800 gigabits per second. It can support 120 gigs of RAM and 20 core CPU with 16 high performance cores and 4 high efficiency cores. It also supports 64 core GPU. It is rated as 8 times faster than M1 and it delivers more power than the fellow 16 core CPUs while using only 90% less power. Apple also claims that M1 Ultra delivers the same performance as the most popular GPU for one third of the power consumption. Now, are they talking about RTX 3090? That's anybody's guess. M1 Ultra will be combined with the capability of Mac OS in a new device with breakthrough performance and connectivity, according to Apple. It is called the Mac Studio. The Mac Studio reimagines what a high performance desktop looks like. Basically, Apple has integrated the performance of the M1 Ultra in the form factor of a Mac Mini, giving you a giant Mac Mini. It comes in two variants, the base model with M1 Max chip and the fully specced out one with M1 Ultra chip. Its design is well a taller Mac Mini with more ports. At the back, there are four Thunderbolt 4 ports, a 10 gigabit Ethernet port, finally, two USB A ports, an HDMI port, and a Pro Audio Jack for high impedance headphones. It has Wi Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5. Bluetooth 6 would have been nice though. In the front, the systems with M1 Max have two USB-C ports and with M1 Ultra, these are Thunderbolt 4. And they also have a full-size SDXE card slot. Mac Studio can support four Pro Display XDR monitors along with a 4K TV. They did show some performance benchmarks. Well, the Mac Studio outperforms the most popular iMac and guess what, the Mac Pro. My sympathies with people who just got the Mac Pro. The Mac Studio with M1 Max gets you 64 gigs of RAM, while the M1 Ultra model gives you 128 gigs of RAM. The Mac Studio can play 18 streams of 8K Apple ProRes 422 video. Now hold it. Did I read it right? 18 streams of 8K Apple ProRes 422 videos. I don't believe it. Let's see when it comes up. Now, if this is true, then there is no other computer in the whole world that can do this currently. Now, Studio Display has an all screen design with narrow borders. It has an all aluminum enclosure with a stand that allows you to tilt the display by about 30 degrees. Thank you, Apple. You can also choose a tilt and a height adjustable option. Wow. It also has a VESA mount option that allows you 
to hang the monitor on a wall and even rotate it in portrait mode but remember the stands that you buy either the one that tilts or the one that also adjusts the height they cannot allow rotation by 90 degree in the portrait mode just like the pro display xdr now in that you could rotate it here you can't the screen size is 27 inch screen diagonal at 218 pixels per inch which makes it a 5k retina display it has 600 nits of brightness has true tone it comes in two variants a standard glass option and a anti reflection nano texture glass option god the uniqueness of this display is that it has an a13 bionic chip inside with a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera that suppose you guessed it right center stage they also have three mic arrays with low noise flow it supports a high fidelity six speaker system with four bass speakers and two tweeters that support spatial audio with dolby atmos it has three usb c ports at the back and a thunderbolt port you additionally purchase silver and black combination of magic keyboard magic trackpad and magic mouse the mac studio starts at 1999 dollars for the base model while in india it costs rupees 1 lakh 89900 with 32 gigs of ram and 512 gigs of ssd and the m1 ultra version starts at 399 dollars while in india it cost 3 lakh 89900 rupees the studio display is for 1599 dollars and in india it is for rupees 1 lakh 59900 including the tilt adjustable stand only you can further configure this with nano textured glass and various mounting options orders have already started and will be available from march 18 Today we built upon the amazing capabilities of M1 Max with the introduction of M1 Ultra. With its Ultra Fusion architecture, powerful CPU, massive GPU and staggering memory bandwidth, it's the next giant leap for Apple Silicon. And we introduced Max Studio, which was designed to put all this groundbreaking performance right on your desk. Together with the Studio display, these products will empower users to create the studios of their dreams and to continue to change the world. and they joined the rest of our incredible Mac lineup with Apple Silicon making our transition nearly complete with just one more product to go Mac Pro but that is for another day now back to Tim so that's the one more thing now M1 Ultra is the last M1 chip so what are we going to see in the Mac Pro M2 guess so give thumbs up if you like this and subscribe if you love such videos thanks for watching have a good day